Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my crazy world. We're doing another build video. And I've lost count at this point. Maybe this is like my fifth or sixth, maybe seventh. I can't remember. Okay, so we're doing another build project, another assembly project. This one was inspired by the awe-inspiring YouTuber Robert Baker. If you want to check out his channel, I'll put a link in the description. I'll put it up in the cards as well, too. You can check him out. Did Robert invent the Esquire? Actually, I don't know. No, he didn't. But he, uh, he brought it to my attention. He has a couple of them. He has uh, like a vintage Esquire, and he has one from... The, uh, the re-release that Fender did recently. I've always liked Telecasters, that's been my thing. And then I saw these Esquires and I'm like, I can, I can do one of those. It's a little bit simpler than a Telecaster, but it's unique. So this is gonna be a massive video. There are timestamps, you need the timestamps. I don't think you can sit through this whole video in one taking, but if you can, good for you. My hope with this video is it's instructional and you can bookmark this video and use it as a reference if you're looking at doing a, a build like a Telecaster or an Esquire and uh, keep this as a resource for the future. What this video won't be is uh, a deep discussion about what the Esquire is or the history. I'll give you a quick sum up. Before the Telecaster, Fender had a single coil, single pickup guitar, solid body guitar, and they called it the Esquire. And that's it. That's as deep as I'll get into it. If you wanna, if you wanna look up what the Esquire is, go, go look it up. A couple more things to mention before we get going. We're gonna get into this. This is not a sponsored video. Well, it's sponsored by me, I bought everything. I bought everything as a regular consumer. Uh, I'm not making this guitar for anybody. I'm not being paid to do this guitar. This is just a fun project that I like to do. And uh, with that being said, let's go. Next section, before we put everything together, I have to take the parts out and take a look at the parts. So this is uh, all the parts that I'm using and I'll have everything in the description, all the part numbers, uh, places you can get them. I'll have affiliate links if you wanna get the parts for yourself. Uh, stuff from this is from Sweetwater here this is the neck and uh, this is the most important part of the guitar and I'll never say there's any more important part and you can see here it's boxed like three times so this is an American oh there's the serial number there it's an American made channel bound rosewood channel bound uh, maple channel bound what that means is like it's a maple neck and they they route it out and then they put see it's it kind of looks like there's some binding but it's actually the the maple uh, wood on the side so really really nice look at this thing it's beautiful and there's nothing to there's nothing to do with the neck like you don't have to do any um, fret finishing or anything like that you, you wouldn't expect to at this price when you see the price I showed the price earlier in the price list but so there's the neck uh, the next part here is uh, from the stratosphere parts in New Hampshire and uh, this is where I got the body and a bunch of the accessories and parts I hate when they uh, have that staticky peanut packing stuff but anyways no damage so I'm not gonna complain too much so let's take it out here we've got uh, pick guards and you notice they are five five hole pick guards no neck hole right that's an electro socket jack if I if I go over anything too quickly here you'll see it again when I'm installing it so it's not uh, don't worry about it just doing my uh, makeup here getting clean this is a Vintera body in Lake Placid blue so you can see it's got the bridge attached. It's got the uh, strap buttons and stuff. We'll be taking those off so we can get into it. This is a uh, switch tip that I already had because I bought a two pack earlier. Here's uh, the knobs, dome knobs for the tele uh, controls. And just a close up there. And you can see they've got some good weight to them. Um, I said where they were made just a minute ago. Here is a uh, Tele string guide, and uh, I've chosen like the 50s style, which it would be my preference. Here's the tuners or tuning machines, whatever you want to call them. Machine heads, you know, they go by different names. These are, you can see here, they're vintage style, but they are the two uh, the two holes. Basically, you don't have to screw in any parts or anything like that. They just drop right in. Here's the electro socket jack, closer up. Really nice metal, it's got a good weight to it. I've had some cheaper ones and this one's really nice from all parts, sold through the stratosphere. Here's uh, the control plate, just your standard control plate from Atelier. Nothing special, but um, you know, you need it. <laughs> and here's a couple pick guards. You got the one here, the black, you got the white. And then um, I also got a couple more off uh, Amazon. You got cream. And these, these all sell for around nine bucks, so. 
I used to be very like, I gotta get a Fender one, but I don't think you need to anymore. I mean, I don't need to anymore. They're all the same. It's not, it's not like a quality thing for these. Here's the strings I use, NYXL, 942s in this case. And uh, this part is the wiring kit, which I bought online from Star Guitar Systems. I got it through eBay. They're a company, I believe they're in Texas. Have to take, yeah, Texas, right there. And um, so yeah, I just decided, I didn't feel like doing the soldering. I do have to solder two things to connect the pickups, but, and here's the pickups. Um, I'm only using the bridge pickup, of course. And uh, I was looking at the Esquire specs on the, uh, the American Original Esquire. And they mentioned a custom Tim Shaw pickup. So I took a look and saw these, they're brand new. So I thought, you know what, I'll try them out. And uh, so the neck pickup, I'll still have it for another build in the future. We're just looking at the bridge pickup in this case. So there we go, that's all the parts. Okay, let's take a look at the price breakdown, how much I spent on everything. So this is like the full price list. This is everything. And some people have asked me to give them a copy of this spreadsheet. And it's like, no, just take a screenshot or just look at it. Um, make your own make your own Excel spreadsheet. It's not that hard. So uh, you can see all the parts are listed on the left. You got the rosewood neck. Uh, the Stratosphere order was like a combination order, a bunch of different parts. And then all the other stuff listed. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. The only um, confusing part might be that I'm in Canada, so I have to convert United States prices to Canadian and then add some taxes. So the main, the main uh, important part here is the price. So down in the bottom there, $2,057.45 Canadian. And if that's American today, it would be 1637 American. So you're looking at the price of uh, an American Pro Line kind of, or Pro Series guitar, comparable maybe, roughly, anyways, so there you go. All right, here we go. Let's start things off with the Fender Mod Shop, which I always do in these videos because I like to take a look at this site and then do like a build and then compare the price. Even though this is like an American, you know, it's an American build, and uh, you can only get these in the States, which I found out recently. But it's always fun to do, and uh, I like going through these builds. So I'm going to build the uh, similar type of uh, guitar. So i got an alder body, and I've picked the uh, Lake Placid Blue. I don't think they have the, the exact same neck here. They don't have the channel bound, which I've chosen, but I'll just pick a rosewood, similar style rosewood, with uh, just taking a look at the different sizes. Modern C, it's close enough. Rosewood, there you go. Um, they do change up the uh, the options here once in a while, so you know you're never really going to see the same thing if you come back every every few weeks or every few months. Um, I'm going to pick a uh, a white pick guard. You've already seen the guitar close up, so you know what I end up with. But at the time, um, I picked just a white to get something something to go by. And you can see here, it's got a neck pickup. The Esquire obviously doesn't have a neck pickup, but it's not an option to not have a neck pickup. You're getting two pickups, right? So I just picked uh, whatever, didn't matter at this point, Corona Classic, there we go. Uh, vintage Classic Gear Tuners, which I actually end up using, and uh, three saddle um, brass bridge, and there we go. There's a look at it, and um, the strings don't really matter. You know, it doesn't change the price. When you get it from the mod shop, you also get a case. So you're looking at like $16.99 US with uh, a super awesome deluxe molded case. It says for Stratocaster, but it's the same case for Strat and for uh, Tele. So there we go. That gives you an idea of the mod shop. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next section. Let's get going here. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to put on is the neck. And some people are like, yeah, put the tuners on the neck first, but I don't know. To me, I just do things the way I want to, right? There's no, uh, I don't know if there's a right or wrong for this, but I like to put the neck on first. Just get that done. So we're going to put the neck on. It's four bolts. It's really easy. You see the neck plate there. It should just fit in snug. And then you basically just attach the bolts. I like to do the crisscross and makes me jump. Sorry. Okay, just a little hand tighten. I don't use power tools on any of this. I just don't feel safe using them, except for drilling a hole. That's the only thing I'll use a you know a power tool for. Otherwise, sorry, I almost you almost missed that plastic removal. 
The uh, strap buttons were already attached on this, on this uh, I want to say player body, but it's a uh, Vintera body. I just took them off to show how they get connected. You know, it's really simple. It's one screw. And um, you'll see in a second there, I actually found some felt pads after that I'm going to put on underneath. You don't need them, but you can put them on if you, if you like to. Uh, there we go. I found this little pack. I had them. I'm pretty sure you can just buy them somewhere. I don't, I don't have them included in my, my list, but uh, you know, you can actually make your own too. Just take a piece, piece if I could talk, pay, take it. Here we go. I'm going to sit this one out, okay? Let's just uh, watch. Take a piece of cloth, cut a little circle, and put it underneath. That's all I was trying to say. Here we go. Second one, too. I'm like, hey, look at that. And uh, yeah, the pro tellies that I have, the pro two telly has it, and a bunch of other stuff. Don't know what the point was of that, but let's get going with the uh, machine heads, or the tuners, or the tuning machines. I like to say tuners because it's quick and it's the easiest thing to say. Now, taking these out, I've never worked with these ones before, and I didn't realize there's actually a top and a bottom. So I started assembling it and then realized, oh, that's not going to work. See the little uh, shape on the top? That's going to be the first one going in. And then there's also a bottom it has got the same shape. And you have to have them lined up uh, on the first hole and the sixth hole, otherwise nothing will fit. So just a little pro tip. So we'll get them put in here. Super easy to put them in. You don't need any tools, which is a lie. I use a little ratchet. There you go. Put them in. And uh, you can hand tighten them if you want. Like it's That'll work too, but I, you can see my little uh, tool there. And I uh, just do a little hand tighten. There we go. Socket is what I meant to say. Did I say ratchet? A little socket set. And uh, hand tighten again. Not using any power stuff. Very nice. Very nice. Got the vintage look, but they're modern. I guess you could say they're modern install. And uh, here's the rest of the pieces. I've already talked about most of them, but we'll, we'll go through them all again because we're going to put them on. It's the dome knobs and the switch. Ah, oh, man, I could have made a smiley face there. I totally, totally screwed that one up. Here's the, uh, the wiring kit, pre-soldered. So somebody did this and they attached it to a little plate. There we go. Star Guitar Systems Pro Gear built by a pro. And this is wired for an Esquire, which is different than a Tele. And I'll, I'll go through that later when we're playing it. And um, it's a three-way switch. And people always get confused. They're like, why is there a switch when there's one pickup? And um, it's it's magic, really. No, I'm just joking. Okay, so it just slides in the uh, control plate. Very simple to, uh, and you put one washer and one screw. Not a screw, come on. He doesn't know what he's saying. Anyways, there we go. Little hand tighten again. Put it through. Okay, got your control switch top. And then, uh, the output jack, not an input jack. If you say input jack, people will lose it. So here's where I discovered something. Putting in an electro socket jack, which I've done many times. These are awesome. I highly recommend these. Put it in. The issue here is there's already the bracket, the retention, I think it's called a retention bracket for the, the jack. It will not line up because that, that uh, bracket ha is positioned a certain way. So getting the output jack through the hole and then lined up straight with this was not going to work. So fought it for a while, finally took some, some uh, needle nose pliers and I just ripped it out. You don't need it because uh, the electro socket jack, electro socket jack is going to fit in just fine. And you put in two screws. You don't even need to drill for them. I've done that in the past. The wood is soft enough. I believe this is an alder body and uh, you can just hand tighten it. And here we go. Two screws and they're angled. They should never move. They should never get loose. I say that, but look at that. It's awesome. I found out recently they put these on the Ultra Tellies or the Ultra Series. Yeah, the Ultra Series Tellies. They have those on there, which I was surprised because they've always done the cup and the, uh, you know, the socket, the bracket, and that's been the standard thing for Fender to do for years. So it's cool. And uh, just attaching two screws, a control plate. It's really crazy that control plate is just that's that's it it's two screws that hold it in and now I'm putting on the, the dome knobs and they have the little tightening screw so there we go three-way switch that's it for the controls and uh, you'll notice I didn't solder anything yet because at this point when I was making the video I didn't have my pickup I was still waiting for it
Okay, so I'm attaching the cream. That's the one I've settled on for now. Hope you enjoyed all that plastic ripping sound. Anyways, I, I yeah, so we're gonna check them out here. This is a, a white, or is it parchment? I can't remember. This is a mint, mint green. Just showing how they compare. I really think the cream, black is nice too, but I really think the cream brings out the binding, the channel bound uh, look, I mean, I guess it's not really binding, but so yeah, I stuck with that. And now, I think at this point, taking off the bridge, which is held on by four screws. Pretty easy to get off. Just gonna take that out. And you can see it up close here. It's a Fender patent pending. Hope they got the patent on that. It'd be a, a shame, you know. Hope they got it. Here we go, Shaw Hot 50s. I'm using the bridge pickup only. And uh, it's self-grounding from what I understand because the bottom plate, the copper, will ground itself with the uh, the bridge assembly. Comes with all the hardware, comes with, uh, they have really good diagrams. The wiring diagrams are awesome. If you didn't know how anything was supposed to be wired. I've also got the wiring diagram for the Esquire three-way kit. So I'll be using that because I'm not using the, uh, the neck pickup. Here's a close up. It's hot, look at that, it's so hot it's melting through. Okay, and then uh, you got three screws and three rubber springy things. You can tell my brain's not working right now. More than normal, more than normal. Here's how you do it. Put your screw through, put your rubber on. That doesn't sound right. Uh, three of them, and then you're gonna basically push the, uh, the pickup through the bottom, and it's got three holes in it, and adjust to your taste. I kinda just set it up roughly, and then if I need to adjust the height later, if I, if I find it's too loud, or if I want it to be a little quieter, you can lower it, so. Here we go. This is the part where um, I haven't done any soldering, I don't think, in any of the other build videos. I basically have three things to solder. Here's some close-ups. This is the close-up of uh, the wiring kit. Really nice job there. I've got a couple things to do. I'm going to solder a body ground, and here's here's what I got. Some cable. I had leftover uh, wire and uh, one of these little brackets here. And basically all I'm going to do is solder that onto that, just heating it up a little bit. I'm not an expert solderer. Be careful how I say that. Soldier, solder. In North America, we say solder. We don't pronounce the L, just like kernel. Okay, so there we go. And then pulling the cables through, you got the hot, you got the ground. And so that's gonna be it. There's two cables I'm, I'm soldering onto the, the kit. And I'm just using the wiring diagram you can see here close up, going to there, going to one of the pots, the ground is going to one of the pots, and then the the, uh, the hot is going to one of the, the selectors. And if you're not comfortable soldering, I recommend practicing a little bit. That's pretty much how I started uh, on a cheaper guitar. There we go. Uh, see, I couldn't even get it the first time. There we go. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually really, uh, it's kind of relaxing to do. So here we go. I'm just connecting now the two uh, that's the ground wire and yeah the body ground connecting both of them so look at that I'm doing a great job it's sucking here we go try again try again I'm no expert this is why I opted to not do the whole thing it wouldn't be pretty you know it'd be functional it would work but I, I mean no anyways there we go so yeah three connections that's it that's that's all it is and uh, so you take a screw and you find a spot in the body that'll work. Don't drill through the bottom if the if the uh, the bottom of the body is really thin. 
like the, the hole to the back, you can end up drilling right through the back of your telly or your body. I mean, I'm not saying I did it before, but I did it before on my white telly. I've done it. And I had to buy some car paint and some touch-up stuff and trying to fix it. It was, it was a great time. So here we go, reattaching the control plate. You're like, you already did that. No, I'm doing it again. Here's the, uh, the strings I chose this time. Usually I do a hybrid. I do a 9 to 46. I've just gone for the 9 to 42 this time. And we're not going to go through the whole process of stringing. You're going to see here, you know, it's pretty easy. Um, you string a guitar how you like to string a guitar. I've, I've learned how to do my own way. And uh, I don't know what I mean by that. I'm, I'm just doing it like most people probably do. There we go. Strung up. And um, now I'm putting, trying to line up where I'm going to put the uh, string guide. And uh, it's kind of determined a little bit by where the, uh, the logo is. Here's the part close up again. You know, you don't want to have this thing drilled into, into the, right into the, uh, the Fender logo. So kind of just looked at what some other guitars have a setup for. And um, this is actually the hardest part of the whole build. And I'm not joking. This is the most stressful part because you have to get the hole lined up perfectly or your strings are bent. And uh, I recommend uh, scratching a little shape in there first, otherwise you'll slide. So take, uh, you know, take something and, and scrape in a little hole. And then you go for it and do a little bit at a, at a time. You don't want to go through the back of your neck or your headstock, I mean, which I've also done. So I'm, I'm, I'm telling you from experience, don't do that. I did it on a, uh, a Mighty Might neck one time. And then I had to get some wood finish and fix it. There we go. Not too bad. Um, some people say you don't need these. Some people will say a lot of things. So good for those people. Now let's get the resistance is futile. Lane 7.44 on the bridge pickup, which is all there is. And for no reason other than just to show you, it's the same pickup when you change the selector. There you go. 7.44. If that was not the same, then I'd be like, what's going on here? Got a mystery secret pickup. Here's the weight. Here we go. Ready? Can you wait for it? 3.27 kilograms. And in pounds, that's something. Really light. In fact, you just saw it on screen. I, I'm too lazy to say it. Now, this can be one of the most difficult parts is the, uh, the setup of the guitar. And um, it's basically four things. We're going to look at uh, the neck relief, which I'm checking here with the gauge. Um, then we'll do the bridge height and action, nut filing, and then intonation. And uh, so here's how I'm checking the relief. Got the capo on the first fret, and I'm checking the space there. And uh, 0.10, I think it's millimeters. And uh, if the gap, if it doesn't move the string, then the gap is probably fine. My thing with setup is I kind of do a rough one, and then I adjust it to taste, if that makes sense. I can play with a guitar that's not perfectly set up. And uh, here we go, just checking with my gauge ruler. Gauge ruler, that's not a thing. Um, yeah, so this is not an all-inclusive, exactly how to do it kind of uh, setup video, right? This is what I use. I use Telecaster uh, official guide from, from Fender. And I'll, cl I'll include the link in the description there. So that's my, uh, my string action that I like to set up. I'm going down here. Uh, in the link, it'll have full step-by-step -step guide of what I'm doing. This is how I do it. It's nothing magic. I don't know this. I can't remember even every time I go to do it. I basically have to go back and look at the four steps. And then uh, at this point, just trying to set up the intonation, which means that it plays in tune all the way up the guitar. And then when you need to, you have to adjust the saddles back or forth. Again, there's full videos on all this on YouTube. I know you're probably like, why don't you show it? Because I don't need to. There's so much, there's so many good resources out there. I'm not an expert. That's why I said anybody can do this. So you'd use these nut files and I'll include links in the description. Uh, in this case, I'm not using them because I don't need to. Um, the nut was cut well enough that I can play it the way it's set up already. If I do need to adjust it later, um, I will, but I like the way it is. All right, for this next section, I'm gonna let you just look at it close up. Here's uh, the mock-up from the mod shop and I took the uh, neck pickup out. Um, and then you're gonna see how it compares to the final results. I think it's pretty cool. I actually like the look of the, uh, the real one in person. And there we go. 
And uh, I'll just let you have a look at it now and then we'll get into some playing tones in just a moment. Before we get into some tone samples, let's talk about the three-way switch on this, which is unique in an Esquire. So on position one, which is normally the bridge pickup in a Telecaster, the tone has been removed completely. So it's very bright. Uh, position two is your standard Telecaster. It's your volume and tone, but only with the bridge pickup, obviously. And then position three is volume and fixed tone cap, which is a .005. It's very dark, very bassy, and that's the way it was intended. So now you know what each position means when you see them and you hear them in the demo.
there we go. If you got through that whole video in one take, in one sitting, I applaud you. Congratulations. I couldn't get through the whole thing. I always enjoy doing these build videos. I always learn something new. I always run into some kind of issue and I don't try to hide it. And I uh, try to let people see exactly, you know, what are you gonna experience when you're doing this kind of build or this kind of project? There's always something new. I'm never an expert. I'm not a luthier. So this is just a, it's a, it's a fun assembly build project, right? And I really think anybody can do these. It does take a little bit of practice. You get better as you get going. Uh, and you do more. I've said before, these are super time consuming to make these videos. Putting the actual guitar together, once you have all the parts, only takes a couple hours, but uh, getting everything, planning everything, it's the video editing that's the killer. Please, if you did appreciate this video, don't forget to like the video, share it out to friends if you know anybody that's interested in this kind of thing. I've got a lot of positive feedback in the past on these build videos. A lot of people have come to my channel because of these build videos. And um, I get a lot of comments saying that it's not a build, it's an assembly and who cares? Before we wrap this up, everything's timestamped, right? If you wanna go back and look for something, uh, take a look in the description. I'm gonna have all the parts listed. There's gonna be affiliate links to everything. I have uh, affiliate links on Sweetwater, Toman, and uh, other sites. If you don't wanna buy stuff, you can use the affiliate links or you can just get stuff wherever you want. It's up to you. The affiliate links help me get money for the channel and uh, I put it back into the channel to do things like this. So if you have any questions, if I didn't answer anything, there's a lot to take in for this video. If you have any questions, leave me a question below in the comments. I always try to read all of them and get back to them. One other thing to mention, I've also added something new. I've added a PayPal tip jar, basically. There's been a few people commenting that they don't want to give money to Google, so that's an alternative. If you want to use that, take a look in the description. There'll also be a button in the top of my channel page. That's gonna do it. If you have any suggestions for making any future builds, let me know, like something like a, a three neck jazz Stratocaster or something. Maybe I'll do like a, a parallel universe type of video, something like Fender's Down where they mix body types together. I don't know, something. All right, that's gonna be it. I'm getting landing. Don't forget to like the video. If you did like it, appreciate it. Share it around. As always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Before the Telecaster, there was a single coil, solid body. Okay, before the Telecaster, there was a single coil. It's a tongue twister. Before, before the Telecaster, there was a single coil, single pickup Teleca uh, 